Toy hunting, Pikesville target. They have a hound. People still care about him. Just Skybite, Roadbuster, and Whirl. A couple more Roadbusters. Rat Trap and a Minicon. The Marvel 3 pack is $25. June! They have an actual amazing Spider Man. I need Electro and this got a complete goblin, so I guess I'm going to buy them finally right now. They have a Gamora. Star Lords. WWE Elites. I don't know if anybody but me cares about Amiibo, but nothing really spectacular, but they don't always have it at every store. Meanwhile, in Toys R Us Owings Meals, Superior Spider-Man everywhere, and this guy. I also seen what looked like Andre the Black Nerd's twin sister with, it looks like him with a wig on that works here. I wonder if I can sneak a video of her. If you love Transformers, don't come here because they don't got shit. Actually, they do have them, but everybody else has them. They still have these guys. World will not quit. Neither will Starscream down there. Or star screen. Let's walk somewhere else. I'm so interested in this Mr. Incredible. He looks really poseable. Wally. In the same aisle as the Transformers. $25 Hulk Hogan for tearaway shirt. That bandana is molded to his head, it looks like. And that guy who will never leave. Oh, 
Eu sei, eu sei, eu sei, eu sei, eu sei, eu sei, eu sei. Eu sei. Donkey Kong. The end cap has three Gamaras. I almost got a good shot there. Finally, Amiibo. Nothing new at all. Unless we count Sam Jackson down here, which doesn't count. And that concludes this episode.